Hi again! This video is of our first family vacation with the baby. We went at the end of November for one week with a last minute special from Sunwing Vacations. We decided to go to a resort and chose Memory Splash in Punta Cana. This was the first big trip with a baby and it may have overpacked. Better prepared than sorry though, right? We're in Toronto, Canada and Sunwing leaves from Terminal 3 at Pearson Airport. Sunwing lets you check two complimentary baby items, so we took a travel cot and gate checked our stroller. You're also allowed a diaper bag in addition to the regular carry-on items, so that's nice. FYI, Sunwing has no personal entertainment. Not that we got to watch anything, but spoiler alert, the baby did not sleep much on that flight. Because it's a package trip through the airline, they give you a teeny glass of bubbly to make you feel festive. They give you Dominican Republic customs forms, one's one per family and the other one one per person. We hunted and hunted for the best rate and we didn't realize at the time, but this gets you two night flights. Baby was overtired, cranky, but overstimulated by the new surroundings, so just so you know, check out those flight times. Okay, so when you arrive, you get on the tarmac using air stairs, gate check strollers come out at the carousel, and board a bus. You take a 10 second ride to the terminal. Get in line to buy a tourist card. If you bought one online, you can bypass this line. But we didn't get one for the baby, so haha ha us, we thought we were being so smart. I think you can get them from these machines too usually, but the good thing about getting in so late is that there were no lineups and virtually no wait times. Right after you receive the paper receipt, submit it to the next person waiting to take it. Walk on to customs. And welcome to Punta Cana, duty free. It's a small airport and a quick walk to the baggage carousel. Did you know that Cana and Punta Cana refers to the Cana leaves that's used for the beautiful thatched roofs you'll see everywhere? The more you know. You're told several times to avoid individual soliciting timeshare sales. Again, another advantage of getting in super late is I guess the timeshare people are asleep at home. Loki Thunwing staff in the orange shirt to find out what number bus you need to get on. And find your bus and meet another Sunwing staff who will give you an envelope with your name on it. Uh, well, 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 welcome, welcome to Dominican Republic. Right now, guys, you're going to be in the, your resort in 20, no, 40 minutes, minutes for you. you. After a stop at another resort, we made it in good time to the Memory Splash lobby. The lobby was cozy and there was a Christmas tree set up, which felt strange because it was so hot. We left when it was snowing back home. Another disadvantage about getting in so late is that everything is closed. You see that bar off to the side? You're supposed to get a welcome drink, but as you can see, it's untended at that time. Here's another look during the daytime. It's a zoo if you arrive during the day. The lineups are crazy long. Back to our nighttime arrival, cross the lobby and you'll see the Diamond Club. Memories Resorts Upgrade Club, in my opinion, not worth it. Read the forums on TripAdvisor or leave me a comment and I'll make a separate video on it. Here's the map on the premises. It seems overwhelming, so let me break it down for you. The resort is small, so no worries. From Memories to Royalton, the Beachside Sister Resort is a 15 minute walk at the most. We're at Memories, so let's look at the portion applicable. You're dropped off at the lobby and the resort opens up to the right. To put it simply, there are four main areas. The quiet pool, the party pool, the water park, and the social area. And the guest rooms surround these. End to end, seven minutes at the most. We got a room in building four, which is in front of the quiet pool. Facing the back where the Punta Blanca Mall, the small souvenir market is located. Except for the three flights of stairs with a stroller, it was quiet, which was really good for nap and bedtime. So here's my biggest regret with this vacation. Memory Splash rates really high, 4.5 stars on TripAdvisor and 4.4 on Google reviews. This is not in line with North American hotel rating standards because I was expecting a luxury hotel room. It's more than fine, it's clean. It's just not a plush, sumptuous bed. Uh, it's not a four-star hotel. I now realize it's a highly rated child-friendly resort because of the water park. Step outside the room and it's sun and palm trees everywhere. If you like heat, it's a tropical paradise. The forecast said rain for that whole week, but miraculously, it only rained at night and was gloriously sunny most days. The quiet pool is a smaller pool closest to the lobby. 
It has a swim up bar, baby pool, and the upgrade diamond club private pool as well. There's a massage tent here that also does the Caribbean fashion hair braids. We really liked this pool. It was laid back, not too many people. There were always chairs available in the shade. This is the pool we went to the most because honestly with the baby being close to the room for changes, naps, and meltdowns was important. It would have been really awesome to score a first floor room facing the pool because you have super easy access through the balcony, but we were okay. By the party pool, I refer to the main pool that has all the organized activities like water polo and aerobics classes. They also had a DJ or MC playing games, but they don't approach everyone, so if you don't want to participate, you can just go watch the fun. There's a barbecue done out here sometimes, and the food is really good. Also, there's a stand behind the swim-up bar that serves hot dogs, burger sliders, and fries, which is also quite good. I forgot to mention you get cards to be able to rent beach towels, and these are available at both pools. This is where the infamous foam party happens once a week, Sunday I think. It's lively and it's loud. I wouldn't have wanted to be in the guest room spacing this pool with a baby. There is a baby pool here as well. And there was a giant chessboard which looked really cool. Referred to as the largest water park in the Caribbean. I have to say, I think there must not be very many water parks in the Caribbean. There is an alcohol-free bar, four big slides, a wave pool, and a baby area that has an exciting bucket that fills and drops a waterfall, and small slides in a shallow pool. It's just the right size though for keeping track of children, I guess. There were plenty of lifeguards and everything looked really clean. At the end of November, we found it wasn't too crowded, which was nice. Okay, let's go to the beach. From memories to the Royalton and the short trolley ride, catch a ride from one of the many stops like these or the lobby. They run 24 hours every few minutes. You'll pass the social area. And the water park. And this is the Royalton. This is the more expensive sister resort that is on the actual beach. The lobby here is bigger and has more shops. A swimsuit store, a cigar shop, currency exchange. Okay, I didn't bother going upstairs to their actual lobby, but it's obviously bigger. There are certain days that souvenir stalls will be set up at both resorts, but there are more sellers at the Royalton. Past the fountains, you'll see the Royalton's pool areas with guest rooms at the sides. And here's the beach, that beautiful Caribbean beach. You can tell the Royalton has a bit more polish and wow factor. They were setting up for a wedding and I could see why people flew over to get married here. The beach was very nice, plenty of chairs, a bar nearby. 
There is a Sunwing coordinator available at the social bar and I asked if we were able to get towels at the Royalton or if we had to bring them over. And she told me that we could get them there but encouraged us to bring them over from memories. Here's when dollar bills came in handy. My husband found that tipping anyone at the bar and asking for towels brought good results. The view was tremendous, the heat tropical, and the crashing waves were soothing to the soul. However, there were mosquitoes that bit my calves through the beach chairs at twilight, and being so far away from the room, I was always nervous about getting the baby wet or in sand because I was afraid she would get cold or be uncomfortable or sleepy or whatever. Also, the waves were really strong. We only went twice. Memories guests are allowed to have lunch at this restaurant called Grazie. We're also allowed to use the coffee shop, martini bar, and sports bar. So let's head back to Memories Resort. You'll see this crazy sign telling you to walk in the segregated corridor and not to walk by the Royalton pools. It just makes you feel so warm and fuzzy inside. This was my first time at a resort and the whole club system is so apparent. It was very strange to say the least. So you've got the regular guests, Memories and Royalton, and then they have upgrade club members with their private pools that everyone can see, but it's just roped off. I found it so weird. Anyway, moving on. I also read online that haggling with the souvenir people at setup day on the resort gets you pretty close to market prices. Um, we walked over to Punta Blanca Market and have to say we should have just bought them on site. That market was not nice. Many stores selling the same things with very high pressure salespeople. You'll see local flora and fauna, ducks, chickens. There's something called an eco gazebo in the middle where you can walk through. Because of many nights of rain though, it was very humid. So I would think with all the puddles, there would have been a lot of mosquitoes. So walker beware. And there we are, here's the water park, and we're back in memories. This is the social area, the social bar, coffee shop, come ice cream parlor, and snack place are all here, and it transforms at night for events. We loved spending the afternoons here. It was almost always empty and we got a coffee and let the baby play on the sofa. It was really nice. The kids club was right beside this area but was under construction. On the far side are the gift and duty free shops, medical center and the seafood restaurant under the sea. You'll pay a premium to buy products on the resort but in case of emergencies at least it's there. I recall seeing a bottle of off mosquito repellent for like $10 so try not to forget anything. The gift shop next door sells beach stuff like flip-flops, hats, and blow-up water toys. The souvenir prices were inflated, but I didn't feel like it was too crazy. This restaurant is all by itself beside the social area, while the other two are closer to the buffet and by the quiet pool. Because the baby's bedtime was around 8, we were always going to restaurants right when they opened at 6. It also may have been that we went at the end of November, but there was never a wait and we never saw it get full. We were excited to see lobster on the menu, but found they were really small, overcooked, and dry. It made me sad to see ingredients like that too distorted to be enjoyed. Back to the social area, you have the social bar that has, you guessed it, a bar. But there's also a ping pong table and a pool table inside. A temporary kids club was set up here. This is also where the Sunring rep will do their introductory spiel and sell tours. They're also here every day to answer any questions. Now my favorite part ever, the coffee shop. 
There are baked goods, finger sandwiches, and coffee, and a self-serve ice cream machine as well. The machine was broken most of the week though, so just so you know, it can happen. Oh, and the coffee is a Keurig type machine. Someone presses a button and serves it. Still, it's kind of cool to imagine it's like a free Starbucks. The snack bar next door serves hot dogs and burgers, and we didn't find it to be good at all. Plus, it's served by the soup Nazi type of guy who was yelling at his coworker the whole time we were there. We ate our dry burgers in silence and never went back. The sliders by the main pool are way better. Let's check out the buffet restaurant selections where you will most likely have most of your meals. The restaurants are only open for dinner anyway, so unless you want to just grab a muffin at the coffee shop or go to the Royalton for lunch, this is the only option. I have to say I think the decor throughout the resort is quite nice. As you can see, the ceiling is incredibly high, making the space feel spacious and not at all crowded to be eating cafeteria style with hundreds of other people. There's a hot food section, a ready to order section that gets you fresh, choose your own topping omelets in the mornings, and meats and seafood fries at lunch and dinner. There's a pasta shop too, which my husband really enjoyed. There's a salad bar, cheese and cold cut assortment, soups, burgers, pizza, ice cream, pastry spreads, I don't know, just so much food. And every day there is a specialty. Tortillas and pulled pork, sushi, a leg of lamb, whole salmon, lobsters. There is a way to eat healthy though. There are always plenty of vegetables and clean protein. Just avoid the sloppy joes, garlic bread knots, and mystery things smothered in cream sauce. If you so choose. It's really surprising how bad food can taste if not seasoned properly. Under seasoned, over seasoned, and I'm talking about just salt. I learned it's better if it's under seasoned because you can always add salt. Already cooked in too much salt and it's doomed. Carved meats dry and tough. The meatballs you had saw yesterday transformed today under a sea of gravy. You learn to pick and choose, but it does take a few days. Here are the restaurants. Okay, so Memories Resort has three sit-down restaurants to choose from. We've seen the seafood one, and the others are Mexican and Italian right by the quiet pool. We went to the Mexican restaurant our first night, and it was alright. You're served a welcome cocktail. At all the restaurants, this happens, I think, which is a colorful, sugary cocktail. Think Blue Lagoon or something like that. Then you're presented with a menu. Oh, so exciting, right? There are three choices of appetizer, three choices for main, and three choices for dessert. And it's the same all the time and you basically order the combination that stirs your heartstrings is this heaven or is this hell i envision going to my favorite restaurant in town every day of the week and i was so excited but it's more like going to the same mediocre restaurant with a two-star yelp review that serves different sets of airline food because at the speed that things were coming out it was already pre-cooked and pre-plated we didn't even try the italian because the pasta section at the buffet was good enough and we just didn't feel like sitting down to a so-so meal again So to wrap things up at the resort, babies and swim diapers are good to go. Um, I don't think going on tours outside the resort to buy souvenirs is really necessary. There are ice machines on the first floor of each building. This is just from the hot dog stand and it was good, but the poolside barbecue is very, very good, so don't miss it. What else? Island time. It's real. Didn't affect us much. After all, we were on vacation, so there's no real rush or anything. But when we were checking in the first night, there were only two guests ahead of us and it took almost an hour to get to the room. The baby was not happy and I was not impressed because we got in at like midnight. For those of you like my husband who need a little heat in their food, you will be hard pressed to find much spicy food here. There is only Tabasco offered at the buffet and we only got some of the real deal in the Mexican restaurant so bring your own or ask for it specifically at the Mexican place. Yay, let's go home! Just beside the lobby is an outdoor waiting area. There are sofas and outlets on the floor so you can sit and wait for your bus. If your return flight is as late as ours, please know that there are hospitality suites you can use to freshen up. Be sure to ask about them at the front desk. The Punta Cana airport is small and our flight was the only one leaving so late, I think. Check-in was quick and efficient. Get your crisp American $20 bills ready for the departure tax to leave the country. Happily, babies are free. It's just a quick walk over to security now. 
I have to say, if we weren't traveling with a baby, I think these super late departure times are pretty good. No crowds, no lineups, plus it's cheaper. The main duty free looked pretty similar to any other duty free anywhere else, but farther inside there are more local souvenirs to be had, which we ended up buying because we found the market behind the hotel to be too stressful with the salespeople almost grabbing you to come into their stores. Once inside, it was really easy to find the gate area. Some restaurants were open, I think I, a burger place was open at that time. We saw many domesticated animals running wild during our stay, and the airport was no exception. The baby was tired but didn't do too badly on the way down, and remember we were lucky to get that seat between us empty, but the way back, the flight was full full full. The baby had to skip her nap because checkout was at noon and we had to hang around until evening and that was almost midnight. It was a tiring flight for all of us. Memory Splash is not on the beach, and if you're looking forward to going to the beach every day, I think you should seriously think about the Royalton if you have a baby. There are mosquitoes. We sprayed ourselves and bought mosquito repellent stickers online to no avail. But according to a veteran resort couple we spoke to, it's nothing compared to some other places. Bring your own hot sauce. Try to get a room on the first floor. Other than that, read up on TripAdvisor many tips and tricks that are really useful. Like bring your own cup to the swim up bars because they just swish around their cups in water before reusing them. I think this resort is ideal for children who can go on the slides at the water park, for babies not so much. Were I to go back in time, I'd choose a more comfortable place with a more luxurious guest room because that is where we spent most of our time. Ooh, I also think this would be great for multi-generational families or a big group of friends who just want to spend time together. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.